is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back at it again with a brand new episode of wwe action figure surgery lots of new stuff going on today and it actually the ish may hit the wall there's going to be a couple ways this thing can go could be really really good could be really really bad depending on how things turn out but i'm really excited for today's man we got some good surgeries we got some good fix-ups and swippages and swappages that i'm looking forward to i think we got some pretty good stuff going on today so you guys know how surgery works it's been a minute since we got into it so if you guys forgot how the surgery works we basically are going to run through what we're going to do today on surgery but uh, on surgery we like to take our figures take them apart put them together with other figures switch head sculpts and parts and things and swippages and swappages to make figures improved or to make them look better or just try something out that we've never seen before so that's what we try to do here on surgery i'm very excited guys let's just shut the hell up and dive in to what we're going to be doing here today on action figure surgery and find out if anything's even going to work because i don't even know what's going on so the first thing being said guys we always start off with the guy on the stretcher and you guys will notice it is elite series 87 braun Strowman. this is our first figure up here today now i tried to think of some cool things to do now to be honest with you the full wave was lit like elite 87 was a great wave the only ones i could think to do something with was the three we got otis we got braun and we got apollo cruz in the wheelchair there they were the only ones that i had an idea for and honestly they didn't need to be fixed up it's just something i want to experiment with and something that you guys will learn here today because we're going to learn it together i'm going to take this Strowman right here, and I'm going to take my Monster Strowman from Vindication, and we're going to see if these double jointed arms will even go onto the new, uh, the older figure. So this is an older Top Talents Elite Braun Strowman with the interchangeable hands. I'm going to take these arms off and try to put them on here to give him double jointed arms. Is it going to work? I don't know, but we're going to find that out together, man. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to be switching these arms. I'm very, very scared to honestly switch these arms. I'm going to have to aim the heat in a direction where it doesn't hit this hair or this head sculpt because it could pop the hair off we could we could run into some messy stuff so i gotta make sure that we don't do that i'm gonna have to aim this away and keep it far away and make sure that the arms get heated up enough and it's just a whole deal so i'm kind of afraid but we'll see how that goes speaking of which guys you guys can see his tag team partner kane in the back what we're gonna do with kane man same thing we're gonna take our elite 87 otis and we're going to pop these are literally the same arms except double jointed so i'm going to see if we can pop these hands out pop these hands out put the gauntlets or whatever you want to call it over here on these wrists and then put the gloved hands up in there and switch these arms over so just two arm swaps again we're testing out if newer double jointed arms can go onto older elites that's kind of what we're testing here today on surgery so we're going to test it out with both of those figures hopefully we don't hit a wall and it actually works but we won't know until we get into it next up ladies and gentlemen elite 87 apollo cruz when i saw these blue silver and black trunks i thought how sick would it be to put these elite 42 neville knee pads i think it is how sick is this going to look on this apollo Tying into the silver and black right here, I think silver knee pads over the black knee tape will look epic, and it's open knee pads. It'll look really sick. It'll tie in there and there. You guys get the point. I think you, you get where I'm going with that one. That one's going to be really sweet. Really simple fix up. Nothing crazy going on there. Next up, guys, Jake Hager from AEW Series 6. Now, I, I played around with this a little bit, but I think at the end of the day, he's missing knee pads and he's missing some hand tape, and I don't like that head sculpt. We're going to give him a full makeover, man. I'm going to put this basic Jack Swagger head sculpt on there. I like the haircut. I like the light. I like the hair color a lot better. So I'm going to put this head sculpt over here, pop some uh, open knee pads onto the guy. I thought about doing larger knee pads, but I'm going to roll with the open ones just for articulation's sake, and I think it'll look a little bit cleaner. Kenny Omega, you know what I'm saying? And then finally, we're going to pop his hands out and pop some Matt Hardy black hand tapes in there to give him the hand tape that he, that he uses when he wrestles. So it's a really simple thing, but it, it should make for a really great fix-up and, and changing him all around. I think it'll be great. So that's another thing we're going to use on our AEW figure series six jake hager moving right along man we got two seth rollins figures and these are supposed to be my ones on the shelf that i keep from the match so i have a pre-match rollins and i have a post-match slash mid-match rollins i'm going to take some decals and we're going to add the messiah right here so that should be really simple and easy i got my uh, messiah decals over here from kirk stomp city so you guys can see right there i tried to play around with my third rollins i was going to put like i don't know monday night something but i couldn't think of anything cool for the pick fed so the pink attack fantasy gear that we made i'm just gonna either paint over it in silver and make something completely up or i'll just leave it silver and all that and just kind of keep it blank but i couldn't think of anything cool it didn't really make sense so i'm just gonna go with these put the decals on there and make that figure look more accurate you know they couldn't add messiah i understand it and then last but not least ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be fixing up the elite two-pack rock so i really love this elite two-pack rock this is the rock and sock connection one but i don't really like like this head sculpt's not bad but i kind of want to put the uh, i think this is the defining moments rock 
I want to put this head sculpt over here, that head sculpt over there, like on this rock. So this head over here, that head over here, and that head over there is what I'm saying. And then I think I want to put, uh, I think that's it. I just want to do a triple head swap. I think that's it. I can't remember. Or maybe I want to put that head over there and that head over here and that head over there. Maybe that's it. We'll figure it out. But that's all we're doing here today on surgery, man. Lots to do, lots to get through. So we might as well shut the hell up and get into this surgery before I cut my legs off with the, the scissors that I'm going to chop the decals with. So I guess for our first bit of surgery, man, we can dive into our Jake Hager. I feel like this one will be one that's interesting and one that a lot of people want to see, just in case you guys want to do it yourselves. Now, one thing that I love about the AEW figures, right, is just being able to do this. Popping the head sculpt off. Wouldn't that just be wonderful if WWE figures could do that? Yes, it would. However, we're going to get rid of this head sculpt. We got to heat up this, and I think we got to heat up these boots. I don't think... I mean, oh, uh, I can already see it. Yeah, that's that's terrifying. Why would I ever do that? Now it's super loose. What a dumb idiot. All right, we're going to heat up these boots, and we're going to heat up this head sculpt, and we'll add the knee pads in the hands after the fact. And I'm trying to think, is there, I mean, we could knock out a few other things. I feel like, I don't feel like we can only do this. We could probably do something else. The rock head sculpts can probably, uh, we, we might as well knock out Apollo as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock out Apollo as well. It's just some boots. Should be relatively simple. Nothing too crazy or hectic on there. And then, uh, so we'll pop those knee pads off and all that. And then we also have the rock head sculpts. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of them off at the same time though. Oh, Jesus. You know what? Let's just go for it. I'm kind of afraid. I've never, I don't, I don't know the quality of the plastic of the AEW figures, man. So I don't know how much they can withstand. I want to say they probably aren't as strong as the Mattel, but I don't know, you know? I don't I don't want to, like, I don't know, man. We may just tear this Jake Hager all to hell, and if that happens, if that happens, I'm going to have to go order a new one, and that sucks eggs. Actually, there's actually a Target I'm going to later today. They had a Jake Hager last time. May just grab it. I should have grabbed it the other day, and I didn't, like a stupid idiot moron. But let's just go ahead and shut up and heat this up before we, we waste any more time. I don't know how long it hasn't been faced towards the figures, but that sucked probably. Anyways, let's see if we even heated it up long enough. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this. We should, oh my, oh my God. You see that? Look, look right there, Brad. We just melted the two pack rock. Unbelievable, Brad. Unbelievable. I've never seen that in the history of surgery. Never once have I seen something as crazy as that. I've never had that issue. I've never melted the plastic of a torso. I don't think I've ever heated up that particular part of a torso before, but I've never once ever done that right there. That's insanity to me. But let's go ahead and slide these knee pads on to the Apollo. Hopefully uh, we have enough time here to get these knee pads on. I've I can't even believe we just did that, to be real with you. Can't even believe it. The dual tone looks a little sick as well, honestly, but there's the one knee pad, and then we gotta slide this other knee pad. This is the only th problem with the open knee pads. They are a little bit harder to get off, but dead gum, they make the figure look nice, and the articulation stays. So we'll get rid of those for now. Plopping the silver one on here. I hope that everything else is hot enough to pop off. It should be. I mean, it freaking melted a torso, for Christ's sake. I didn't even think that it was, you know, that long, but uh, apparently it was, Brad, and you didn't notice. Anyways, hopefully it didn't melt anything else. It's not as far as I see. We'll take a closer look at Apollo at the end. Apollo is finished. Bro, like, you've got to be kidding me. That's insanity. Anyways, pop that head sculpt off. That head sculpt literally just popped off. Probably didn't even need to heat it up. Oh, my God in heaven, man. What are we doing? Here's this head popping it over here now. It literally just, that just deflated me, man. That just deflated the entire attitude of the thing. We'll look at that rock in a second. Still can't believe I just melted that or warped that. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Um, This head sculpt can go over here. Yeah, dude, I don't even think that needed heating up. Oh, God. I also broke one of the MDT rules. I didn't even need to pop that head off, I guess. What were you here for? Why were you here? Christ. But uh, I didn't remove his cloth shirt or his accessory, and I didn't remove these elbow pads or nothing. I just went for it, and uh, that's just freaking insanity. Look at that. Oh, terrible. But the rocks are completed. Now we have to go over here to Hager or Swagger. Got that head sculpt off. Hopefully this doesn't... 
Did I even need heat? Who knows, Brad? Who freaking knows at this juncture? Uh, left knee pad should slide on pretty good. And again, I, I, I probably could use bigger knee pads for these, but I don't, I don't know. It just, I think the smaller looks better for like the skinny leg and stuff like that. And then plopping the boot back on. Is that even going to go back on? I don't think so. I'm going to have to let that cool off and then heat the boots back up. That's terrible. And then plopping this head sculpt on to the AEW figure. God, he's going to have like no neck. Jesus. And then plopping the hands out and putting the taped hands in. There's the one hand and here's the other hand. And again, we're going to have to heat up the boots again, which sucks, but that's already looking a ton better. We'll take a look at him at the end and I'll add the, I'll add the shoes back. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Yeah, we'll take a look We'll take a closer look at that at the end. With the rest of them, I do have to heat these boots up, though, which sucks because those pegs are super, super short. But there's our little basic extras. And then here's our extra knee pads, and let's move on to our next step. So I guess our next step will be applying the decals. Very, very simple thing to do, guys. If you guys have never done this before, shout out to the 90s cups right here. Basically, just cut open your decals right here. Dump out the graphics. I'm going to have to cut this real quick. All right, got my two graphics right here. All we got to do now is get our micro set and micro soul. If you guys have never seen this, this is how you apply decals right here, man. This stuff right here is magical. I used to be like, how the hell does these even stick? But now, get your micro set, mini paintbrush, dip it into the micro set, apply it where you want the decal to go. Get a good layer of it on there. Maybe a couple layers, but especially like, you know, one good layer on there, like so. Let that air dry. Come over to the other. We gotta do it twice, because we got two different Rollins here. Same thing, micro set to the area. Good coat there. Let that get all nice and dry. Let it air dry out right there. There where the Messiah graphic is going. Let that air dry. I'm gonna close up the micro set. All right, now that the micro set has dried, ladies and gentlemen, I've applied decals on this channel before and on surgery, but basically you're gonna dip your decal in here. Not very long. Take it out while it's pretty wet there. Let me zoom in. And you're going to slowly slide this off. Put it into position that you want it. Just like so. Straighten it up. And boom, that's pretty much it, Brad. Wow, how simple is that? And that's on there. So we're gonna leave that, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other Rollins. And again, same process. Wonderful, wonderful. Now that's on, that's on there, you come back with the micro sole. Same process, little brush in there, get some out, and then apply it to the decal and this is what kind of gives it that like finish on there to where it's like sealed on there and you can do you can take it a step further and you can put mod podge on it if you'd like i'm not going to today maybe not ever because these are just for display mainly you know i don't know when i'll get these off the shelf but if i was going to pose these guys around a lot if you're going to be posing these guys around i'd go ahead and add that extra covering in there but there you go you just slap it over the top there and wallabushka that is wonderful so now our messiahs are perfect so now we're done with the Micro soul. All right, guys, so for our last bit of business, it is time to get into our double arm swaps. Now, again, pretty af pretty afraid of it. Hopefully, it works. Uh, for the cane, I'm actually going to just pop the head off. I think I can pop the head off. Yeah, I, I kind of like rigged this up to where it can be interchangeable. So, this shouldn't be too, too hard. Just kind of point the arms up like so and then heat these up. I am going to take Otis's shirt off. Hopefully, I don't melt anything. That kind of that hurt my confidence right there, man. That's what happens when the doctor hasn't performed surgery in a little bit. You kind of you get rusty and then you. You, you mess things up. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can make this thing happen, and then we'll know about Strowman. All right, guys, let's see. Moment of truth for these double jointed arms. All right, it looks like the peg has changed a little. Oh my god in heaven. It does look like the peg has changed, so I don't know. Moment of truth. I mean, god in heaven, man. Look at look at that garbage. Look at that. I think the only way you're going to be able to do it is with... You're going to have to swap the shoulder, it looks like. How trash. But these, honestly, these arms never really went on this figure anyway, to be honest with you. Like, they never really popped on there very good. Like, remember, even in my review, I talked about how gappy they were. Ugh. 
Oh man, that sucks. So I don't know about Strowman now, man. I don't I don't know what to even I don't even know if I should try it. It looks like you're gonna have to shoulder swap, which is a whole new challenge. That means you have to crack the upper torso to put the double jointed arms in there. Oh man, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. I just need that ultimate edition cane. I'll just use the ultimate edition cane when it comes in, probably. I don't freaking know nothing. Christ. All right, guys, so I actually just tried to uh, do the Braun Strowman as well. And anybody that switches their figures around, man, you're going to have to start being very careful because, look, the plastic on the torso melted again on this. And I'm doing the same things that I've always done. So this means that, like, they've changed the either the material or they've, they've switched something up with the quality of their torsos. And I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks like um, we may run into some more issues in the future with this because you guys can see that same bubbling thing that happened to the rock torso happened here and i've never had that happen to me in however many episodes of surgery i've never had the plastic on the torso melt like that so it's going to be something that we're going to have to be careful about going forward on new figures because the rock and sock connection pack just released right it was brand new and then this is brand new and they both did it doubt that it's a coincidence man it's got to be something about the plastic that they use for torsos now so definitely take that in mind i'd like to see how it reacts to water may have to change to doing boiling water instead of hair dryer, which hurts surgery because I don't like boiling water to do swappages. Unless I guess it's a new figure, then we may have to start doing that. I don't know, but that's very crappy that that's a thing because you guys can see there it did warp the torso on the lower part right there. Also, the arm mold is the exact same as the Otis, so the new arms would not go on the older basic either. You're gonna have to torso, you're gonna have to shoulder swap, and who even knows if the shoulders are the same? I don't know, man. A lot of things that you gotta learn when they come out with new technology and stuff. Customizers and fixing up and stuff has to change as well. You gotta change your, you know, your approach and your prep time and everything, but yeah, what a bummer. All right, guys, so here's everything that we did today on surgery, starting out with our rocks. I cannot believe I melted the torso on this. That absolutely blows my freaking mind, but there's the rocks. It came out about how I'd like. I mean, to be honest, I'd like to paint this head sculpt and, like, touch it up. It's missing a little bit of, of paint there, but I like the likeness on this rock attire, and I can't believe I melted. Like, dude, that's one of my favorite figures that I've gotten this year. Like, just the way it feels in hand felt really nice, and now that I've melted the torso, big bummer. Uh, this head sculpt on this body looks nice, though. It's the, the, the defining moments. I think it's the defining moments. It may be the legends, but this head sculpt looks good regardless. I feel like it needs elbow, elbow pads, though. Like, the leg is garbage could pop off at any minute, you know what I'm saying, m m style. Both of our messiahs look great, really happy with the way the decal came out. If you guys would like to grab that Curb Stump City Custom decals, you got the messiah on there, not coming off, now they can go up on the shelf, I don't have to worry about them or touch them ever again. I want to track down more of this Rollins, I only have one extra, I'd like to have a few more for other fix-ups and fantasy attires and maybe even an all pink gear, like pink kick pads and everything. And then last but not least guys, we have the last two fix-ups, which is the Jake Hager, looks so much better, like in my opinion, but he just doesn't stand for me for whatever reason reason. I don't know. He just wants to lean forward. There he goes, but he's still looking weird. Hands look good. Knee pads look good. The boots aren't loose like they were a second ago, but the head scope looks good on there. I like the way the Jake Hager looks, and they, look, look at him just flipping, fracking all over the place, but last but not least, we have Apollo, who probably won the day, honestly. Maybe him or Hager. I don't know, but the silver knee pads look really clean on this gear. Uh, it turned out just as sick as I thought. When you got that two-tone knee tape with it, even if he didn't have the black knee tape, it would still work, but I think the knee tape really brings it all together, but that wraps up our action figure surgery, man. I'm glad that we got back at it. I hate that we melted a couple torsos. We messed up the double jointed arms. I don't know what to do about that, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out's going to go to WWE Figs, who says, Hi, bro. I know it's been a while since I last commented. I've just not been as passionate for figures and wrestling in general. I've been slowly trying to get back into it. I thought the best way to reintroduce myself to collecting would be to start watching some MDT. Hopefully, I'm able to get fully back into it, but watching your videos has been really bringing me back to the community i just want to say thank you for the continuous content and even bringing me back to collecting it feels great to be getting back to collecting bro -sif. and a huge shout out to you man i missed your comments but welcome back to the community it really means a lot to me for you to watch my videos for you to you know want to get back into it and me to help you do that feels amazing and it, it, it inspires me as well to read your comments so a huge shout out to you man thank you so much for the kind words and comment i did miss your comments on my videos though always appreciate it and i hope you stay for a while man stay tuned into the content and the wrestling in general i mean wrestling in general has been trying kind of hard to get into anyways i feel like besides certain storylines like there's a lot of illogical stuff going on and stuff like that so but i understand it, bro i really appreciate you and i appreciate everybody for checking it out guys follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the 
the next video and don't cross the line like the freaking new torsos and the melting and the double jointed arms changing the pegs and having the torso crack and get the shoulders and the just terribleness. Just god awful trash. Ugh.